Okay, let's continue. So in this lesson, we're going to do some further modification to our steppable code. So first of all, I would like to show you how to simplify uh, the code that prints number of uh, cells in the simulation. So instead of actually doing this for loop, what we can do, we can do something like that. We can say number of cells is equal to the length. So len is the Python operator that operates on lists or any iterables. And clearly our um, cell list is, is such iterable. So if we use this operator, it should return the length of the cell list. All right, so let me do this. I'm gonna copy this number of cells and re replace counter here with number of cells. And we can run, run the code like that. I'm gonna save it. But before we run the code, how about we do one more adjustment? I don't want the step function of this bacterial macrophage to be steppable be called every Monte Carlo step. I want to I want this step function to be called every, I don't know, 10 Monte Carlo steps. So one way to achieve it, and probably the, the, the best way, is to go to the main Python script and change this frequency from 1 to 10. Save the file. Open the simulation player, and let's run it. Okay, the simulation is running, so now we can go and inspect the results. So uh, if we are in step 472, we don't see any printout, 471 no printout, but in step 470 we see the old printout. So this, this shows you uh, how to uh, change the frequency with which steppable are called and also this shows you how to simplify the code that counts number of uh, cells of a given of, of, of all the cells in the simulation. All right, let me close this and let's take a look at another problem. Let's take a look at what types of cells are defined in this simulation. So we have three types of cells: bacterium macrophage and wall. In this particular simulation we have one cell of type bacterium and one cell of type macrophage. And we have several cells of type wall. Let's say that uh, I want to find out how many cells that represent walls are in this simulation. So essentially my task is to count number of cells that are of type wall. So this is how I can do this. I can build a for loop and essentially check if the cell type is wall, then I will uh, increment the counter. So let's do this. So wall cells counter equals zero. Now I'm gonna go to our old friend CC3D Python menu. I'm gonna go to visit old cells all the cells, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna delete the comments. And then inside the for loop, I'm gonna write the following code. I'm gonna check if cell.type is equal to self.wall. I'm going to increment the wall cells counter. Number of cells of type wall equals. And this time I'm going to use different syntax just to show you that you can be flexible. If you're not familiar with uh, print statements in Python, Take a look at any tutorial and, and you will get it in no time. All right. So the only 
the only suspicious looking code in this simulation in this uh, listing is this self.wall why do i use self.wall and what does it mean well the way CompuSell is written is that if i declare type bacterium macrophage or wall and i want to access type id for this type i can i can essentially type either one two or three or i could use a type name and capitalize all the letters and prepend it with self dot wall in this case or self dot microphone so in this case self dot wall gets resolved as type id3 okay let's run this code open player and simulation starts running let me pause it and let me scroll turn on to the output and there we go in step 319 remember we are calling steppable every 10 monte carlo steps i have number of cells of type wall is equal to 14. now for fun let me actually count also number of cells of type macrophage Sorry. macrophage cell type equals and now I'm going to type self and I want uh, type ID for cell type macrophage so I have to capitalize all the letters in word macrophage and I'm going to copy this statement and replace wall with macrophage Cells counter. And to complete the picture, I'm gonna actually count bacterium phage, bacterium uh, cells as well. Bacterium. But this time, I'm sorry, I actually mistyped the code here. And we need column. To close the if statement, if cell type equals this time instead of actually using labels, type labels, I'm gonna simply look at my XML and see that bacterium is type ID one, and I'm gonna type one instead of using this type of syntax. I just want to show you that both ways are equivalent, although. The way that relies on labels is preferred. And my page plus equals one and then zero. Let me add space. Actually, let me, let me add a few more spaces so that code is more readable. One and let me copy print statement and replace macrophage with bacterium. And we will run the code, and this will be the end of our lesson. Okay, save the file, right click, open in player, and Oh, this simulation was still running. Yes, I want to stop my simulation and restart it. I'm going to stop this. Scroll down, all the way down. 
and in step that's divisible by 10, so step 680, we see the printout. All right, this is it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next lesson.